stepping in turds. What do we got here, man? She's in. The box is in, man. Oh, yeah. Got them 18s up in there. So if you didn't watch the last video, the box is done. It's in the car. It's nine and a half cubic feet net, tuned to 32 hertz. It's made out of white oak plywood. It's got a stone finish. Then I just did a very simple, easy little splatter job up on there. 120 cubic inch of port, I guess area. yeah got two agm batteries that's 100 amp hour you got a stock up front running two scar rp 1500s got one on each sub wired the two of them probably pushing about 500 watts on each speaker right now they're only rated for 600 so these are the SDRs. I'm gonna go with EVLs or either the SoundCube HDX3s. And uh, yeah, it'll be way louder, but I'm very impressed. I'm sure it's because of the box too, but I'm really impressed in these SDRs for what they are. I had two XFL 15s in there and an eight cube box. And these things are pretty close to what them XFLs would do on half the power for half the price. These things are $130 a piece. So if anybody's thinking about getting the SDRs, I say go for it. $130 for an 18. You can build a 10 cubic foot box, nine cubic foot box, run one 1500 watt amp. That's 450 bucks and she'll be banging for anybody looking to build their own box my advice is to go for it either you can spend five or six hundred bucks on a box on a good box or you can get a program look it up see how how to design a box a decent one takes a little bit of research you might have to learn a few things but I mean 150 bucks you can build your own box however you want and you don't have to pay $500 if you don't have the money or you need to build it a certain size the worst you can do is mess it up maybe you can go back later and cut one end off rebuild it change the port out if you've never done it before maybe you can just build a box and buy some arrow ports that way you can tune the port shorter and longer if you don't like the way it sounds but it's not that hard this is only the fourth box I've ever built and it sounds damn good Someone was asking me what head unit I run and what speakers I have in the car, what's the setup in the car. So being an older town car, I don't have too many options for pods on the bottom. I don't know how to fiberglass, don't have the time to learn, never done it. So first thing I did is I got Infinity Kappa six and a halves. And then I've got JBL Stadium six by nines in the back which are pretty much the same thing as the Infinity, Infinity Kappas. So I've got these ran off an American base five channel. I think it's an MD 5100, something 5100, Phantom. 
Phantom 5100. I've got the uh, Defont Sylvester six and a half. It's pretty easy to make something like this. If you if they don't make something for your car and you're trying to figure out how to add another set, I bought some speaker rings and I just glued them together and cut them at an angle. Took the door panel off, screwed them from the back side. There you go. You got some pods. These don't have really any mid base anyway, so they don't need to have any airspace or to be sealed or anything. Um, they're supposed to be cut at 200 hertz and only play from like 200 to 10,000 or something. So I've got these ran off the American base, five channel. I've got the Kappas ran off the American base. I've got a dual 500 watt amp pushing my JBL six by nines. And I've got these $20 pile super tweeters, which actually sound pretty good. I had the scars, I think the V VXTs or VTX or something like that. And I like the way these sound better. They were $20 for a pair. You can't really beat that shit. Cheap Pioneer, Single Den, uh, Stinger, Voltmeter. And really, that's it. I like having, I could just put all mid range and power the shit out of them, make it super loud. I'd like to do some eights. I can't fit eights up there because it's shaped all weird and shit. It's not flat. It's like comes out and it was like a five by seven. I had to make an adapter and all this shit. But um, I wanted some sound quality. I didn't just want a hell of a loud mid range and some tweeters. These things right here are pretty clear. So. I've got these, ran on some crossovers. I've got the Kappas and the JBL 6x9s just for some decent mid bass and some added SQ. And then these just to make it a little bit louder, which them get loud as shit whenever you put a crossover on them and you put about 100 watts to them. They get pretty fucking loud. All right, dudes, so I gotta get back to work. So until the next one, holla at you later.